Romans chapter 13 verse 11 and then knowing the time that now it is high time to awake out of sleep for now is our salvation nearer than when we believed the night is far spent the day is at hand let us therefore cast off the works of darkness and let us put on the armor of light call hello Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai Bahashem Yahweh send double honor to the apostles and elders of great millstone much peace, love, and salutations to y'all. Again, I'm out there pushing the word and sincerity and truth. This is the brother Ariella. In this lesson right here, I want to I want to talk about the ministers of the Most High can give perspective, but they cannot give you backbone. You have to have the your own personal um, determination to seek out salvation. The ministers of, of Yahweh Bashem Shai, they cannot make you care. All right, that comes from within. It comes with, with with your own personal and chasing that relationship with Yahweh about Shemel Shai. You can't wait on somebody else to motivate you towards doing this thing. You, you can get around people who are on fire and it, and it may influence and it, it may be, you might be provoked to emulation like Paul said, but no one can make you care. We're in a time where it's important for us to seek out our own salvation as it talks about in the book of Philippians. Philippians 2 Verse 11 says, And that every tongue should confess that Yahweh Shahamashiach is Lord, to the glory of Yahweh the Father. Wherefore, my beloved, as ye have always obeyed, not as in my presence only, but now much more in my absence, work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. For it is the Most High which worketh in you both to will and to do his good pleasure. Okay? Brothers can uh, go through the scriptures and, and read and you can have all this access to all these breakdowns and show you the tools that they utilize to study the scriptures and come into the knowledge. But if you don't have a personal fire, if you don't have uh, a backbone or the courage to really dive into this thing and seek out more, you're not going to stick around. You're going to quit. You know? The, the, you can't wait for somebody else to make you care. You know, we, we can't do that. One thing we can do is confess. So it's all of our personal uh, um, duties to seek out that uh, confession of Yahweh Bashem El Shah and to chase it. Okay? The Most High is building an enterprise, man, and we all have to uh, put in our peace, put in our work. You know, like I believe it's what, 2 Corinthians, the third chapter, it talks about building upon that foundation. All right? And all of us have to uh, come into that. When we read here in the book of Romans 14 and 5, it says, One man esteemeth one day above another, another esteemeth every day alike. Let every man be fully persuaded in his own mind. All right? And that goes to all the, and not just high holy days and, you know, and, and Sabbaths. It goes into the whole uh, mind of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. Let every man be fully persuaded in his own mind. Okay? That's a personal relationship. That's a personal determination that we all have to make sure <clears throat> that we're cultivating, we're fighting for, we're focused on, that we're not letting the ministry be, be blamed for anything. All right? The ministry is not to be blamed for anything. We have to make sure that we're cultivating and that we're building our own personal relationship with Yahweh Shem Shah so that we continue to diligently fight, right? When you go to the book of Luke, the ninth chapter and the 23rd verse, it says, And he said to the, uh, them all, If any man will come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross daily and follow me. For whosoever will save his uh, life shall lose it. For whosoever will lose his life for my sake, the same shall save it. So there is this mindset that this current world and situation and process, your legacy in this life, in this world, you're losing that. You're putting that off to what? Chase the legacy in immortal life, the next world, through Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Now, you can receive all these scriptures and go through the prophecies and people teaching it, but nobody's going to come through the YouTube screen and, and make you care and make you really want to do it and make you really want to fight to, you know, put off this life and that mindset, right? And take on your cross daily. That's why even within the same chapter, when you skip down to the end, 
it kind of gives an example of that and uh luke 9 and 58 it says and yahweh said unto him foxes have holes and birds of the air have nests but the son of man have not where to lay his head and he said until another follow me but he said lord suffer me first i go and bury bury my father yahweh said unto him let the dead bury their dead but go thou and preach the kingdom of the most high and another also said lord i will follow thee but let me first go bid them farewell, which are at home at my house. And Yahweh said unto him, No man having put his hand to the plow and looking back is fit for the kingdom of the Most High. Are you catching yourself looking back? Are you catching yourself losing your, your, your spiritual backbone in this thing? Are you catching yourself wavering in this thing? And that's why you have to make sure to continuously self-critique and evaluate. That's why the scriptures talk about the washing of the word and the renewing of our mind, bearing that cross daily. This is a daily thing. Stair step. Stair step effect to the kingdom of the Heavenly Father. Okay? Now we know what the Most High said in the book of Revelation. You know, everybody reads the scripture. Revelation uh, 3 and 15. I know not thy works, that thou neither uh, that thou art neither cold nor hot. I would thou were cold or hot. So then because thou art lukewarm and neither cold nor hot, I will spew thee out of my mouth. All right. And so we don't want to be found in this wishy-washy state, this lukewarm state that actually is very aggravating with the Heavenly Father, especially around this time of the Passover. And that's why, you know, a lot of times we'll catch hell because we're in that lukewarm state in the most high. just looking for us to step it up a little bit. Just step it up just a touch. You don't have to do it like this, man. You don't have to do it like that, man. Step it up in your own way. Find out find out how you can step it up in your own way. Seek you out your own salvation. Okay? This person or that person around you can't make you care. They can, they can give you help, give you perspective. They can influence you by an example that they're setting. But it's a personal battle that you have to continuously look to fight for. Okay? You have to maintain that mindset. Luke chapter 14 verse 26 says, If any man come to me and hate not his father and his mother and wife and children and brethren and sisters, yea, and his own life also, he cannot be my disciple. Alright? Meaning the intentions and mindsets in this world. I'll continue to talk about that. Verse 27 says, And whosoever doth not bear his cross and come after me cannot be my disciple. For, for which of you intending to build a tower sitteth not down first and count, counteth the cost whether he have sufficient to finish it, least happily after he have laid the foundation and is not able to finish it, all that behold it begin to mock him, saying, This man began to build and was not able to finish. All right, so we want to count the cost of the labors and, and what we're building with, within this ministry and what we're doing. Self critique. Are we coming to the table with enough material? Are we doing what we're supposed to do? Right? We have to make sure that we're manning up in that way because we're going to go through trials and tribulations. We're going to go through ups and downs. We're going to go through situations. But if you are, if you don't have that, 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 that if you're not girded up mentally what happens you'll lay down you'll quit that's why it says here in first peter 1 and 13 wherefore gird up the loins of your mind be sober and hope to the end for the grace that is to be brought unto you at the revelation of yahweh Mashiach. all right we have to make sure that we're fighting for that intentionality in our mindset all right Developing that spiritual backbone over and over and over and over and over again. Okay? Hebrews 12 and 12 says, Wherefore lift up the hands which hang down and the feeble knees, and make straight paths for your feet, lest that which is lame be turned out of the way, but let it rather be healed. So you wanna we, we wanna make sure we're fighting to come into this time of the Passover 
with a determined mindset, right? To continue to build the relationship with Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, continue to put in our own personal work toward the building of the ministry, storing up our treasures in heaven. Why? Because the time of our salvation is nearer than when we believe. Okay? You know, and this, this scripture, man, you know, this topic, I, you know, I have a lot more scriptures, but I, I feel like through the, uh, through the Spirit, the point has been made. All right? You can get perspective from the men around you, from the apostles and elders, but nobody can give you a backbone. Make you, hey, say, hey, I'm, I'm going to do this thing. I'm going to stick with this. Don't blame nobody else for that. That's your own personal thing. You have to take, bear your own cross daily within this thing. And understand what you what, what you're a part of. Understand the purpose of the gospel in these writings. There's a goal and there's an intention. There's a revolution being laid down. And these scriptures are guiding to, hey, build something incredible. We're all fitting in. Okay? So... Lord willing, that was that fine. Please, as always, may I add comments, scriptures down in the, uh, below that come to mind. Call Halal Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah by Hashem, Yahweh Double honors once again to the apostles of Great Millstone. Much peace, love, and salutation to Yahweh. I'm out there pushing the words into the church. Shalom.